We're going to make something out of a VW rim. Stay tuned to find out. Okay, so what we're going to do today is um, I'm bored and I've got a couple of uh, old VW rims. I'm going to show you right here. And this thing is toast, I tell you. Unfortunately, uh, it is off a splitty and I'm sure there's going to be a few people saying, save it, save it. But unfortunately, if you have a look here, it is pretty badly rusted. And it not only is it rusted, it's, I mean, you can see, you know, it's lost. Look at it, this is flaking big huge pieces off it, so it's pretty much toast. Now, I don't like chucking things away, you know, a few people have said I'm a hoarder. Anyway, what we're going to do with this guy is we are going to turn it into a hose reel. Because <laughs> I don't have one and I've been looking online to buy one for, for the house and they're garbage. You know, they're just not very good quality and I thought, how about we make this thing a hose, you know, you can wrap the hose around it, mount it on the side of the house like that. We're going to make it pretty. And we were, I, was, I was talking to the wife and I said, what colour? What do you reckon? And we've actually decided we're going to do it in the, the basalt colour, which if you look outside there, uh, that's that um, fence, the uh, retaining walls that I built. And I'll tell you what, that was, a, that was a mission and a half, the amount of work involved in putting all those all that retaining walls starting from the top of the driveway all the way down and i mean you know we we called it the great wall of demop because <laughs> have a look at it, it goes forever and i did all that by hand by the way just hand shoveling each pole each one of these goes in the ground as much as you can see coming out of the ground so it was a mammoth task but you know we had to do it in order to um site cut this the, the place to put the shed in so i think we'll do it in the basalt color which is this color here and I have got plenty of powder in that, so I think the plan will be sandblast this rim and powder coat it in the Colorbond basalt colour. And then all I've got to do is find myself a hubcap, which I suppose I could take one of those off the wall there. But I don't know, I'll try and find just one nice chrome one, I suppose, to whack on it. Maybe stick a couple of extra clips, because these clips here look like they're pretty... Uh, that one's not too bad, that one there looks a bit twisted. Maybe stick a couple more clips on it. I think what I will do is weld a bracket behind here. So if I just have a look here, if I stick a piece of flat bar uh, straight up here onto here, weld that on and a couple of holes in it, that can be my fixing point to the wall. Stick the hubcap on top and you won't see any mounting. It'll just be this wall floating on the side of the house so that's the plan stay tuned let's see if it all goes to plan so let's get this thing sandblasted i've got a feeling uh, it's going to take a while right so we've got it in the blasting cabinet what i'm thinking of doing uh only because you're going to see this side of the um the hoop when it's on the wall and obviously i don't want to go and sit there and try and weld all that up i might actually knock the center out of this thing and flip it around because this side is perfect all the way around. So I might just grind out those welds there. One weld there, one there, four welds. Knock the center out, spin it around and uh, re-weld it on. But maybe even deep dish it might, might, might look a little bit cooler. So anyway, what we'll do for now is just sandblast it first. See how long this is going to take. It's going to be going to take, it's going to take a while, I think.
Righto, so we've cleaned up the rim as, as best we can. I mean, it's not going to be perfect, but, you know, it's only a hose reel. <laughs> so I've just gone inside here and given that a bit of a grind up, you know, giving it a bit of a uh, sandblast. I mean, you can see here, this thing is just absolutely roached. But for the way I'm going to mount it, it's going to be like that. So you're not going to see any of that rotted part. Uh, I've put a couple of new clips on, on here couple of those guys just so the hubcap does stick on and we're ready to basically knock this into position now and uh, weld it from the back so we might just put that on the ground and I'm going to tap it down to where I want it and let's see how we go okay so we've got this all pretty much centered uh, you know we're not getting too um, fussed about how aligned it's going to be because it ain't ever going on a car again so we're just going to run a um a bead along these four points and then we're going to weld a strap across it with some holes in and pretty much call it good and then we can chuck it in the um in the powder coater or actually put it in the oven first just you know make sure that we do get a half decent finish on it so we'll fire up the um the tig uh, I probably could MIG it, but I've just got the TIG set up with the gas at the moment. I don't want to swap hoses and stuff, so we'll just use the TIG and I'll just run a couple of beads along it. We'll see how see how good my um, TIG welding is today. And, you know, you've got to practice these things, otherwise you just get rusty. So, anyway, let's have a look. Okay, so 147 amps. And that's our little welds that we've done. Not too bad, just pretty much ran a little bead around the edge of them that's pretty much all it needs like i said it's not going to be holding any more weight than a hose so we'll just get a bit of scrap metal now and just put a a, a flat bar across there with a couple of holes in it and get that done so we just got a piece of uh flat bar and drilled three holes in it like so and we'll just tack this to the back like that Get it somewhere in the middle call it good okay we'll get that tacked in position okay so we have got the wheel out of the oven it's done its little bake uh you know to get rid of some oils and stuff but you know like i said we're not really too worried about it i did fill up a little bit of those holes there with some a bit of welding just you know my ocd kicked in and i didn't want uh, it looking too holy but that will all be hidden from the back anyway so we're just waiting for this to cool down a little bit it's still a little bit on the warm side and we can start powder coating this thing in the basalt color so let's see how this is going to look Okay, so fresh out of the oven, and as you can see, it came up pretty good. No real issues with the powder dripping or doing anything silly, so that's a good sign. And it's got a nice shine on it. I mean, like I said, it's going to have a hubcap on it. And, you know, the top of it, that part up there you won't see. You're going to see this part under here, so not bad. For a hose reel, this is going to be fantastic. Okay, so we're going to let that thing cool down, get a hubcap, and get it mounted on the wall. And there we have it. One VW rim hose reel. Uh, I have got a 30, I think it might be a 35 meter long hose, so it might be a little bit too, uh, too long for it. But hey, it works. It's on there. And, um, I mean, all this is getting painted anyway, so we're not too... The colour scheme is going to be none of that brown stuff at the bottom. But there you go. It worked. Saved a VW rim and turned it into a hose reel. And that's going to be, well, I wouldn't mind getting a better um, condition uh, hubcap for it. If anyone's got something a little bit nicer than that. It's got a, yeah, it's got all, it's all tinted up. But uh, there you go. All right, guys. Well, that'll be it for that one. You can see me in there. Catch you later in the next video. Woo!